guys, welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes. So today I'm going to teach you how to make herbed baked eggs. These are perfect to serve at a brunch, perfect to have for breakfast, or just to have, I like to have breakfast any time of the day, but this is one of my favorite ways to treat uh, friends when I have them over for brunch or like if they, if they stayed over and I need to serve them eggs in a really fancy special way, this is how I make it. Literally, it's done in under 10 minutes. The whole process is very quick, very easy, and it's sure to impress. So let me take you over the ingredients and we'll get started. We need some really good quality feta, of course. The Donis is my favorite. It's a sheep's milk feta. Please try and find it. If not, go ahead and get regular cow's milk feta. One roasted, uh, fire roasted red pepper. They're already ready in a jar. They do a great job at it, so I don't want to go through the hassle. I buy them ready. Some salt and black pepper, olive oil, a little bit of heavy cream, three eggs. These are for one person and some fresh basil leaves. If you don't have basil leaves, go ahead and use your favorite herb. You can use dry herbs here too, so you can use dry dill or fresh dill. Whatever herbs you like, go ahead and use them. I love the way basil and goes with this combination of feta and the roasted red pepper. So what you want to do is first set your oven to broil, and you're going to need a nice ramekin, okay? So this is fine. This is big enough for me like to serve big and small at the same time small enough for an individual portion. If, if yours is not exactly this shape, that's fine. Just rem remember, make it with whatever you have at home that can be uh, stuck under the broiler. So I'm going to cut my eggs carefully, I mean break them, into these little ramekins. And that's important that you don't break them right into the ramekin that's going to come out of the oven because you want your eggs to be whole. You don't want them to, sometimes they break, you know, and the yolk starts to run. And that's going to ruin it because it's all in the presentation with this dish right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I have my eggs ready. My oven is set to broil and I have the oven rack set about six inches underneath the heating element, which is the broiler. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of heavy cream. That looks like about a tablespoon. And a tablespoon of olive oil. That looks about right. I'm going to put this in over a sheet pan just because it's going to be really easy to transfer in and out of the oven. And I'm going to stick this in the oven until it's nice and hot and bubbly. It's going to make like little bubbles all around and I'm going to pull it out. It should just take a few minutes. All right, so my milk, not my milk, my cream and my olive oil is heating up in the oven in the ramekin. And I'm just going to quickly slice my basil leaves. And all you need is about two or three basil leaves. You don't want to overdo it with the herbs. And while I'm at it, I'll also cut up my roasted red pepper and just into little chunks. There's no method. It's just, just going to be all bite-sized pieces in here. Move this on the side. The basil smells amazing. And I'm going to cut a piece of feta cheese just so it can be ready. Remember, you're making individual sized portions, so there's really no exact measurement. Put as much or as little as you or your guest will like. Have everything ready over here. The feta I'm just gonna crumble on top, so it'll just take about two minutes for my milk and my, not my milk, I keep saying milk, my cream and my olive oil to be hot and bubbly. And it should be ready in just a few seconds. Okay, so my cream and oil are super hot and bubbly. Let's see if you can see that. We have to work really fast at this point, so I'll show you really quickly. It's made lots of bubbles. So I'm just going to put my eggs in quickly and carefully. And they're going to begin cooking because everything is really nice and hot. Now I'm just going to sprinkle my basil on top and put some salt. and black pepper. I'm going to crumble my feta cheese carefully not to break the egg, the yolk, like that. I'm going to put my red peppers all around the sides. And then sprinkle some 
oregano generously on top. I'm going to put this back into my oven underneath the broiler. The broiler, again, is still going to stay set to high, and it's going to cook for about five to six minutes until the whites are white but not completely cooked through. And uh, then I'm going to let it sit and rest for two minutes. Wash my hands and put it back in the oven. Okay. All right, so it's out of the oven. It cooked exactly six minutes underneath the broiler, about six inches underneath it actually, not exactly underneath it, otherwise it would have burned. And it's, the whites are pretty white, but they still need a little bit more time to set. So I'm gonna let it rest for about two more minutes and then it'll be ready to eat. It smells absolutely delicious, honestly, and it's so pretty, look at this. It's full of herbs and everything. This is perfect to serve with some nice homemade bread. I have a delicious homemade bread recipe that's easy to make. It's a no-need recipe, so check that out. Make that and serve it with this. Some nice crusty bread with this is like, that's all you need. So get this recipe at www.demetriusdishes.com. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna put up with exact measurements, but like I said, again, make it exactly how you would like. If you like other herbs, go ahead and substitute them. But make sure to give it a try exactly this way too. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.